Activision Blizzard held a conference call with investors to review its most recent quarterly earnings report. The latter half of the call consisted of the usual QA portion, during which the company's executives were asked about the high number of YouTube dislikes that Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's reveal trailer has amassed. I'm Dave, and welcome to your remastered news update. If you haven't been keeping an eye on it, the trailer for Infinite Warfare currently has more than 370,000 dislikes or thumbs down on YouTube. Roughly twice the number of likes is received. Whether that's due to the series continuing to be set in the future as opposed to the modern day setting that helped popularize it, or a general dislike of the franchise from a vocal group, or even something else is impossible to say. Whatever caused it, Activision found a way to make it sound like a positive. First of all, you've got to love the passion of gamers. This is an industry like no other and a fan base like no other. And we love that our fans treat this franchise like it's their own and has such strong points of view about it. There just aren't many entertainment franchises on earth that can generate the kind of passion that Call of Duty can, and that's a good thing. Secondly, of course we know that there are people in our community who are nostalgic for the boots on the ground style of gameplay, and that's why we made Modern Warfare Remastered. But we also have millions of people in our community who want to have the new innovative experiences in the game each year, and Infinite Warfare delivers that. And the good news is, this year we found a way to deliver both in one package while keeping our our community together. Hirschberg went on to say that other evidence suggests the dislikes aren't evidence that sales for Call of Duty are finally set to fall off a cliff this year. And while of course we see the passionate opinions online, we also look at other measurements and the fact is, while it's very early, pre-orders are off to a very strong start, views in the reveal trailer referred to are up, and in fact, the number of likes per view on the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer are also the highest we've ever seen. Hirschberg's response isn't unique, as a publicly traded company, Activision can't lie to its investors. But like any other company, it tries to spin negatives into positives all the time. It's just uncommon that it's done quite so well. And with such a solid underlying point, Call of Duty isn't going anywhere. YouTube dislikes or not. So are you excited about the new Call of Duty and the remastered classic? Let us know in the comment section below, or you can find me on Twitter at Dave. And for all of your Call of Duty news, stay tuned to GameSpot.com.